In the land of Skyrim, there are treacherous creatures and unyielding hunters, the common pickpocket and the honorable soldier. But few and far between are what we know as heroes, those who have exceptional talent in one area or another, yet decide to selflessly help the people around them. Whether they were born or made, we had the great opportunity to sit down and talk with one such hero. Thank you for talking with us today. Uh, what was it? Edward? Yes, that's me. I am always happy to help educate the common folk on matters which precede them. Right. So, would you mind telling us your title and how you got it? In your tongue, you may call me the Dragonborn, but if we were to get into details, my name is Dovahkiin, which literally translates to Dragonborn, hence the common name. I was not granted Most this heroes title, are known for their valiant and noble Dragonborn. deeds, slaying villains and anomalies alike. Edward, though, is a little different. Where you might find a hero with a sword and shield in hand, you can instead find Edward holed up in a library, his eyes glued to a book rather than an enemy. I believe that education is the most powerful weapon in anyone's arsenal. Yes, I may be able to absorb dragon souls and speak unthinkable words of power, but what candle does that hold to my astonishing wit? Would you mind showing us a demonstration? Absolutely. Pretend to be a bandit or some lowlife of some sort, trying to take my hard-earned gold. Uh, okay. Stop right there, traveler. Your gold or your life. What's this? Yet another highwayman? I suppose I have no choice but the wait a second rhetorical fallacy. You state that this interaction results in either my gold or my life disappearing, but does that consider the other possibilities of the outcome? You think too narrowly, my friend. What if I were to only have one piece of gold? Would you really leave me with my life? In that case, it is better to present your statement not as an open choice, which gives your victim a false sense of hope, but rather a declarative statement. Such as, stop right there, traveler. I will either end your life or spare it, should you pay me a minimum of X gold pieces. And they just don't attack you after that? Precisely. After I enlighten them on their mistakes, they just give me a blank stare and walk away. I assume, of course, to the nearest college, so that they may better educate themselves. Hmm, I'm really starting to see how your methods work. And indeed, while they may seem utterly ridiculous, the results show that Edward's methods do work. After speaking with local Jarls, Edward's recorded deeds include preventing religious zealots from burning down a rival church. I command you all as the Dova team to stop. I must ask you all, what do you have to gain from burning down this church? We seek revenge, for our god has been slighted by these heretics. We shall not stop until each and every one of their churches has been burned to ashes! Aha! How has nobody found a miscalculation already? You claim to want revenge, but you plan to use torches and fire? Does the saying not go, revenge is a dish best served cold? Yo, he's got a point. More impressively, slaying a rampaging giant on his lonesome. Curses! It looks like this giant doesn't even know his own language. Looks like there's no way to negotiate with pitiful fools like you. Charge rule! I mean, haha! <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> looks like you don't know the gravity of your situation, Mr. Giant. Ever heard of the third law of Giuliano's physics? Whatever goes up must come down. Drag no stupid! And perhaps the most impossible of all, getting children to do their chores. Do you not understand the inherent value that doing your chores has on your future growth? The life lessons and basic skills you gain from seemingly mundane please activities. Shut up. We'll clean our toys. Just shut up! Shut up, please! But not everyone holds Edward in such high praise. There are those who think he does more harm than good for the world, for one reason or another. Yeah, I don't know, man. This guy's, this guy's a fucking freak. I mean, he just goes around all day spouting out his nonsense or whatever to whoever he can find. Uh, once we had a bear infestation, and his solution was that... Uh, I'm quoting, by the way, so don't put this on me. But he said, the answer to a predator is to find that predator's predator. And then he summoned a bunch of dragons to burn the bear and the city along with it. Which, for a guy who claims to be as smart as him, was a pretty dumb fucking move in my opinion. But hey, I just chop logs for a living. So what do I know, right? Mr. Dragonborn, what would you say to those who believe that your deeds do not constitute anything noteworthy and that instead your actions just come off as deranged? Well, <coughs> uh, they say that experience is the best teacher. And frankly, I don't believe any of my critics have had enough time doing field work to throw criticism at my methods. None of them, and I mean none of them, would stand an iota of a chance against some of my fiercest foes, including Cicero de Sissy Pants. Why, I recall one time when I was in a cave. 
Stop right there, Dover Keen. It oh is no, I. not Cicero. Oh, sissy pants. Now, riddle me this, or you'll see my next knife won't miss. I lay in bed with her at night, and in the day she's quite the sight. She may have given birth before, but that won't stop her from having ten more. What am I? Drat! Another perplexing puzzle. Knowing you, Cicero, the answer is not as obvious as it seems. Hmm. Aha! A bed bug! Oh hoo hoo! Oh hoo hoo! I see you're wrong. Guess this will take long. Try again, Dovahkiin. A platypus? And again! Your body pillow. Wrong as always. I've got it! A beehive! Nope. Hmm. How about a horse? How did you even come up with that answer? I'm on a schedule here to be at a child's birthday party in half an hour. Could you could you hurry this up? Uh, I'm afraid I have to admit, I do not know the answer. Oh, 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 oh! Bested by Cicero the Sissy Pants once again. The answer, you foolish knave, was... What was it? What was it, Cicero? I have to know. I must know. Your mother... Curse you, Cicero the Sissy Pants! Your biggest opponent was a clown. Don't you fight dragons and the like for a living? Oh, I've, I've never actually slain a real dragon before. They're not prone to discussion. I just swing around town whenever the guards manage to kill a dragon so I can absorb its soul. Wow, okay. Yeah, hey, I, I got a riddle for you. A rooster is sitting on the roof of a barn facing west. If it laid an egg, would the egg roll to the north or the south? Ah, I see you're a connoisseur of brain games too. Give me a second while I mull this over. If it were facing west on the roof of a barn, how about you think that over while I go use the bathroom for a quick second? Okay, pack it up. This interview is over. We have to get away from this from this lunatic before he realizes that roosters don't lay eggs. I can't I can't stand to be around this guy anymore. I've got it. The answer is west. No, you got you got to try again. That's not the right answer. Shut off the camera. We're we're leaving.